the Lord as God Almighty. Blessed are those who obey and fear and walk unto Him. That He shall find a peace. His amazing God. Many they say, I don't know how God speaks. But to them, there are millions who don't hear the God. Yet they hear, they deny. Yet they know the truth. But they harden their heart for their greed, for their pride, for their arrogance. God doesn't honor such people. God is always against such one who hardens their heart in a greed and pride and arrogance, who deny the counsel and guidance of a God and gets into the trouble with God himself. God is a God of righteousness, truth and justice to the world and to the people of the earth. He doesn't support the lies and deceit. He doesn't honor the deceitful one and murderous. God is not with them. But they end up against God. And then who will stand when God will be against that person? Let's understand this earth universe belongs to God and every nation is under command under the law of God and every man and every nation every country great and small are under his subjection God keeps on counseling God keeps on guiding many ways and yet you inquire to the Lord and yet you do not hear to God and then you embrace the disasters. Thus says the Lord. Obey. Obey and follow when I counsel you that you shall be comforted. Thus says the Lord. Thou knowest the way of God and thou believest. That's why thou inquirest. That's why you're there. Then let me know what is the will of God today. If the man of God talks to me, then I shall believe and I shall obey him. So God bless you. Let there be peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give a God a good name. Amen. God talks. God knows. If any man from the corner of the earth, from the horizon of the other universe and other part of the world, when he will call upon God and he will inquire, he will answer that person. Amen. He will not fail. Testimony of a God will be twice confirmation. Always twice confirmation.